Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today is an all new shop mustache update. You guys know I love filming these videos and I know you guys really enjoy watching them. So if you've never seen a shop mustache before, this is basically what I do to make sure I'm cycling through my entire makeup collection. Instead of just kind of focusing on certain things, I want to make sure everything that I own is getting some love. So that's why I film these videos. Every two weeks, I build myself kind of a new makeup basket to focus on. So we always start off these videos reflecting back on the last couple of weeks, if there are any standout products for me, what I enjoyed, if there's anything I wasn't a fan of. And then the second half of the video will be the selection process for the new makeup basket. If that's all you're here to see, check the description box for a timestamp so you can jump ahead to the selection. But first, let's go ahead and do the recap. Also, if you like this makeup look, it should be up already. I did this as a full face using your recommendations, which was such a fun video. These were all techniques that you guys recommended to me on my community tab, and I learned some new things here. So if you haven't seen this video, highly recommend checking it out. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. But actually, let's start off with the palette that I'm wearing. And this was something in my makeup basket. This is the Soft and Sultry from Milani, and this was so much fun for me. But let me tell you guys, I when, I when I went down to Atlanta, I was there for like six days and I did something terrible when I was packing. I forgot to pack my eyeshadow brush bag. So I usually bring way too many eyeshadow brushes. I just keep all of mine in this bag and I usually just grab that bag and take it with me and I forgot it. So I had to get a little bit creative with this palette over the last like week or so, and I was using it with my Real Technique setting brush, which is probably too big, but I was making it work. I was using this and using my finger to apply the colors. So because of that, I couldn't be as detailed as I wanted to with a lot of these looks. So I don't feel like I got the use out of this that I wanted because I was kind of having to create softer simpler looks because i just didn't have the tools but today i did a fun look you know i've never made a look with this that i didn't like i feel like this would be a really great palette for someone who prefers more of those neutral to cool tones you're not super into the warm orangey colors that were trendy for a while i feel like now we're kind of moving more towards these cooler tone shades but this is a nice palette for someone that doesn't want to just be using like grays and silvers so these are more neutral to cool tone the quality is good like I said, I'm wearing it today if you want some inspo. I like just doing kind of softer looks with this. I was just about to say softer looks with this or sultry looks with this. That's the name. It makes sense. While we're talking palettes, let's go back to this one. This is the Naked Honey from Urban Decay. You know that I mentioned this in my most recent favorites video. And I've now done quite a few looks with this on my channel. I did a two looks, one palette right when I received this. And then I also did a get ready with me using this recently with a really soft like one two three color like matte soft smoky eyes so if you like so simple matte everyday looks i would check that video out this palette really just encompasses fall for me because you have those really warm tones these colors remind me of the leaves changing and it was so much fun for me to use this some more i think i'm gonna put it back for now i think i'm gonna put both of these back for now and play with a few other things but actually i'm for sure gonna put them back because I'm going to do something fun this rotation, so you'll have to wait until the end, but I'm going to put those eyeshadow palettes back and you'll see what I'm talking about. This foundation combo, it really is a dream. You know I love it. This is the Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer and the Undone Foundation, or the Unfoundation from Undone. I always want to say it the wrong way, but I also shared with you guys how I apply this in that Get Ready With Me, so that will be linked down below if you want to see it. That's the video that I wore the Naked Honey palette. And I'm so close to being done with this, you guys. For that reason, I'm really tempted to keep this in for one more rotation. You know what? I probably will. I think I'm going to keep this in for one more rotation, both of these, this combination. And I'm going to add one other foundation so I can play around if I want to. But I just want to keep this momentum up because there is not a lot of this left. I am wearing this lip today. This is Ofra Atlantic City, and I did something a little different. Again, check out the video if you wanna see, but I wore a much darker lip liner with it to make it more of like a fall vampy red as opposed to like your bright primary color red. I really enjoyed using my Mary Luminizer. I was using it with a couple different techniques. Today, I used like a really small eyeshadow brush, again, I'm gonna leave the video down below. Uh, this, this is enough like sneak peeks of that video. I just, whoops, I just finished filming it and it was a lot of fun for me. So I'm, 
I want to talk about it, but I either used that or like a big fluffy fan brush and I just like that this diffuses out nicely and you can really manipulate this to be very bold or very soft and the color is just really complimentary to my skin tone. So I mean, honestly, I could probably just have this as my only highlighter and I would just still love on it so much. So those were a few of my standout products from this time around. I do want to talk mascara for a second because you don't usually see me mentioning my mascara in these videos because I really only try to keep one or two mascaras going at a time. So I was trying to finish up the Milani Highly Rated Mini and I could maybe make this work a little bit longer, but there's definitely not a lot left. So this I'm going to try to finish up completely in the next two weeks, but I'm also going to add in a new mascara. This is the Ciate London Wonderland Mascara, and this I wore in the video that I just filmed, and I do enjoy it, first of all, like on first impression. So I'm going to kind of test this out, add that as my new mascara. So I wanted to update that since usually you don't really see me talking mascara in these videos, but let's go ahead now and hop into the selection. So to start off in the base drawer, I want to go back to this one from The Ordinary. I've only tried it once, and I want to keep testing it out so that I can share my thoughts. This is their High Adherence Silicone Primer. So we're gonna throw this in, but remember I still have this Too Faced Primer that's in my project pan. So both of these will be in here. Cass is right there under the camera, so you might hear him sniffing and walking around. And once more, I'm gonna keep working on these two. This is my Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty in Light. And this is my Undone on Foundation. And I also want to work on this one from CoverGirl. I'm still testing this out and trying to decide what I think. It's their Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I have mine in the shade Ivory, which can be a little bit dark, but if I have a self tan, I should be fine. Setting spray, let's think. Both of those foundation combos are pretty dewy. So I'm thinking, let's go with this one from Urban Decay. It is their All Nighter Cherry Edition. Drawer number two, let's start off with this one from Ciate London. I've been wanting to test this out. I've only tried it once. It is their dewy stick in the shade Glow. But I also want to pair that with a powder highlight. So let's go with my e.l.f. little $4 baked highlight. This is so amazing. For bronzer, I do have my Project Pan bronzer, but I also want to throw in this one from Milani. This is my Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade 01. I like this one to pair with the other one because this is more neutral toned and matte and the other one's shimmery cool or warm toned. For blush, let's do this one from Milani. This is their Rose Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. I have a mini of it and I'm trying to pick some more like neutral to cool toned products right now and you will see why when I get into the next drawer, but this is gonna be my blush in addition, obviously, to my Project Pan blush. Moving on to my kind of unorganized <laughs> lip and eye drawer. If you guys remember, we did Glitter Week about a month ago, and now it is time to introduce Bold Lip Week. So this is my next Shop My Stash challenge that I wanna do for myself. So kind of like Glitter Week, I want to just pick out a ton of lipsticks and then leave the palettes. So I'm not gonna be selecting any palettes this rotation because I wanna give myself the freedom and flexibility to pair any of these bold lips with whichever palette I see fit that day. So we're gonna pick out a bunch of bold lips, but I'm not gonna pick any glitters or eyeliners or palettes to go with it because I want to give myself that creativity with all these bold lips. And the reason that I wanna do this now, of course, is because it's fall and I'm feeling all the bold lips, so I just wanna there's a ton that I want to play with, so I'm like, you know what? Why not just do a full basket of bold lips? <laughs> so first of all, I want to throw in this one from Physicians Formula. This is the shade Nutricious. Kind of more of a reddish 90s brown. Also going to throw in this one from Ofra. This is the shade Cape Town. This is more of like a deep purple berry. Next, I'm going to take Lasso Loss from Ofra. It's kind of similar to that first one where it's like, that brownie shade, but this one may has a little bit more of that terracotta orange undertone. I'm gonna do another orangey shade. This is Control Freak from the Lip Bar. All the other ones were liquid lipsticks, whereas this one is like a lip gloss, but it's a very pigmented lip gloss. 
I also want to do this really deep vampy color. This is Havana Nights from Ofra. Probably one of the deeper lip colors that I have. And finally, I want to do Sangria Slush from Bite. This is a deeper red color. And this is a lip stain. I thought this would be fun to pair in because it's kind of a challenge for me because this was very much like a summery lip for me. I mean, it's a lip stain, so it'll kind of be a challenge to make it fall. So here's the thing. I can wear any of these lip shades, but if I'm feeling one day, you know what? I don't want to wear a bold lip. Well, then I can wear the lipstick that's in my project pan. So it's going to be, I have to wear one of these and I want my challenges to wear each of them. But if I'm not going to wear one of these, I'm going to wear my project pan, like nude pink color. So that is my challenge for myself to wear all these bold lips. I'm already excited to maybe do some like glittery looks with these or maybe do some like no eyeshadow, just a bold lip. I've got a lot of ideas in mind and I'm so eager to play around with these. So I hope you guys will stay tuned. You'll kind of see me wearing these colors throughout my next two weeks of videos, but I will go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching.